All right, so you're getting ready for the day, okay? You work at Alpine Lumber, possibly, or McDonald's, or wherever you work. It really doesn't matter. But the thing is that uh, you think to yourself, man, what am I going to have for lunch at work? I mean, we made burritos last night, right? That's probably something that happened to you. And, you know, you're thinking... Um, you know, I got this uh, fancy little bread maker over here. And, you know, I think that uh, I can maybe take some of that leftover burrito stuff and put it, this is going to shock you right here, on a tortilla, okay? And then, look, got my little grill, it's all ready, okay? So now, I'm going to, I put it on there, I got the cheese on there. Did the, did the BAM thing, like Emerald Lagasse or Nagasi or what, whatever the heck his name is. And anyway, and then you do the little, like, it Italian thing, you know, because I'm Italian, right? And then you uh, just kind of roll this thing up here, like it's a Tootsie Roll. And then you slap that on the grill there. Oh, lost a little bit of meat, though. And then, uh, okay, so you can close that on there. Oh crap, dude, I forgot to wash my hands. Hang on. Pause the video here for a sec. All right, okay, yep, you gotta wash. You gotta wash them up, you know? Yeah, just forget the fact that I already touched all the food and the cheese and the, and the, and the meat and <laughs> everything else in the kitchen here. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I washed my hands. It is that type of the morning, you know, where you got to do things that are messy, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, so, yeah, so then you put that on there, right? Just kidding about that, of course. Uh, yeah, so you put that on there, and then, uh, you know, you got to be a jokester. It's the morning, you know, unless you're not a morning person, then you got to be miserable. Those are really your only two options. Yeah, so then you put that on the grill there, you know. And then, you know, it's always good. You can always put a little bit of hot sauce in there. You know, whatever you're thinking. Maybe you want some barbecue. And, you know, just what it, I'm, I'm not going to judge. I wouldn't put barbecue in there, but maybe you would. I mean, I'm not going to judge you, right? And then, um, you know, I use the uh, Fiesta cheese because I'm feeling pretty Fiesta-ish in the morning here. Actually, that's all we got, really. But either way, feeling pretty Fiesta-ish. <laughs> All right, so then you come over here, right? And, uh, all right, so you just wait a second. You kind of got the feeling that it's on a uh, McDonald's grill, you know? But it smells like Taco Bell in here. Oh, man. Actually, that smells a little bit like McDonald's breakfast for some reason. I'm not sure if that's normal. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Because we were talking about Mexican food I'm making here. But uh, anyway. I don't know why it smells like a McGriddle when it's a burrito. Like I must have done something wrong. Must have messed something up somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's the syrup. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But anyway. No, there's no syrup on here. Alright. So that's coming along pretty good. You can even flip it if you want. But really, it's all the same. Um, doing the same thing here. I, I suppose. So I'm going to put that back down. But, uh, yeah, dude, if Taco Bell sees my YouTube video and they want a new product, like, I'm all ears, you know. I'm, I'm pretty reasonable. They can pay me a million bucks. Like, that's fine with me. I'll make some money. It's like that Domino's driver. When I was working at Domino's, supposedly the driver uh, came up with the Parmesan bites. So it's kind of like that, except for I don't work at Taco Bell. But, uh... But yeah, I mean, other than that, like, it's pretty, I'm not really a driver for Taco Bell either. Well, kind of, I do DoorDash. But anyway, um, yeah, so, basically, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good, you know. You can either use that for, I, I'd peel off the sides here, you know. Oh, we got a little cheese there, I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, yeah, you better eat that. But yeah, no, it's, uh. You can peel off the sides or kind of put it in there right. And I guess I peel it in. 
But um, yeah, it's pretty good, man. I got something here that uh, is gonna make Taco Bell jealous and they're gonna wanna buy it from me. So stay tuned for that, coming to Taco Bell 2022, if not sooner. But yeah, no, it's, it's uh, you know, we got something here. Let me see, let me see what we, ow, it's a little hot here. It's so hot, I can't open it. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right. Mm, mm, that actually, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, if you guys need some ideas for, you know, for lunch or whatever, um, that's always a great idea. So thanks for watching. Um, and... Remember, enjoy to grill on your uh, sandwich maker everything except sandwiches. <laughs> that's always a great thing, right? And use a sandwich maker for everything. I mean, you can use it for sandwiches, but that's kind of boring. So anyway, have a good day, guys.